What's up everybody, it's Neo Bands back with another Shaper 3D tutorial on the iPad Pro using the Apple Pencil as the stylus of choice. I definitely recommend you have a stylus when you are working in Shaper 3D on the iPad. I am not an expert product design person, but I am somebody that has used Shaper 3D to create his own product idea and bring it to life and 3D print this product as well to actually bring it to life with ABS plastic and a Dremel 3D printer. And I'm gonna throw some videos up later to show you some of the printing in action and whatnot, just to give you a bit of an idea of the person you're learning from. So I'm not gonna be using a lot of technical terms or it's not gonna to get too complicated. I'm gonna keep it simple because that's how I did it to not only create the pop adapter, but also this specialty briefcase here, which I will get into um, maybe later. I don't know if I'm going to actually get into everything this briefcase is until the IP is fully protected, which it has gone through various levels of protection over time. I have submitted provisional patents for both of my products over time. This is also a registered trademark pop adapter. So for this video though, we're gonna focus on another feature that's possible in Shaper 3D, which is to align edges together. There's a few different ways that you can go about aligning edges and joining two different objects together. So for example, let's say I wanted to snap this rectangular box to this plane of my Swiss cheese rectangle. One of the ways that you can go about doing it is first tap whichever side you wanna to snap to it. So this is the, the longer side, this is the shorter side. Let's say I wanna snap this shorter side to it. I would start by selecting that flat plane. And right now you can only snap flat planes to other flat planes. So you would tap on one flat plane. Then here in the left hand menu that pops up, search, deselect, sketch, move, scale, align. You wanna tap on align. And when you tap on align, it will bring up a menu to say, number one, select the face or edge to align. And number two, select the target face or edge or drag snap points. So the first way we're gonna do it is by tapping the face so this face is our target face and as you can see it snaps to the center it snaps the center of our initial rectangle to the center of the face on the target and as you can see it actually uh, it, it, it extrudes down beneath the floor of our workspace which you don't really want that I mean you know you could want that but for our purposes, we wanna make sure everything is sitting on top of the plane. And if you tap done and you realize, oh, I made a mistake, you can always tap the undo button in the bottom left-hand corner to undo what you did. And instead, we can tap on the edge, that bottom, that bottom edge, tap a line, and then tap the bottom edge. And now, when we tap done, We've snapped to the center, but it is flush with the bottom of our of our workspace, if that is what we wanted to do. And the other way would be to tap on the edge that we want to align, tap a line, and instead of tapping that edge, we can drag this over to the exact location so say we wanted to move it someplace off center we would be able to do that as well but this joins the objects which could be something that you're trying to do but let's do this one more time because maybe it would be something more along the lines of this where we Tap that edge, tap a line, and then drag this to here, which makes it flush. Let's see. 
and you could just keep going, you know, keep undoing and going back and forth to see which way you want it to be. And you can just keep on sort of working it until you have it the way that you want it to be. That's pretty much it, you know, when it comes to aligning edges or surfaces to one another of certain objects that you want to then become one object. And I'll go through how you actually um, create one object out of an aligned object in another tutorial. But for now, just so you know how the align feature works and how you are able to align things um, in a quick way, which aligns it to the center by default or in a more customized way where you can drag the point. And that could either be from an edge or from a surface. So if I tap on this surface and then tap align, I'm able to drag the center of that surface to, you know, the center of or to a place on this surface, or if you're just trying to move it to the to the center. There we go. There we go. Or you could have it be, you know, aligned to the center with something like that. But that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to like, share and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell as well if you're on YouTube. Follow me if you're on TikTok. But also share these tutorials with a friend that you know has ideas that they want to bring to life or that you know is interested in this kind of thing when it comes to 3D design and just sort of teaching yourself how to do it because that's pretty much what I did. You know, I did teach myself sort of how to create both my pop adapter product here in the 3D space as well as my specialty briefcase, which this is the OG version of it with way more hardware. And this is a little bit more streamlined version with less hardware. But they're both the same product and has this, have the same special functionality that we may get into in a later tutorial, but I will for sure be talking about my pop adapter product in another tutorial as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. In the meantime, I will see you in the next tutorial.